We do get the opportunity to look back on a lot of things because it is the end of uh, the year. It's also the end of the decade. And we've been asking everybody for a decade and a day. Tomorrow we've got um, full live uninterrupted uh, discussion all across the day on OTB Sports Radio. Uh, you can get that on the Go Light app. You can get it on offtheball.com forward slash radio. And uh, we're going to hear who Brian O'Driscoll says was his Irish player of the decade on tomorrow's show. But first, uh, here is Ronan O'Gara talking about the Irish player who stood out for him. This is interesting. Have a look. This is a cheap and cheerful question, so you'll excuse me for this. Who's your player of the decade? 2010 to 2020, is it? Or 2009 to 2019? Well, I mean, both. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, can't, you can't say yourself for that Sterling World Cup in 11. No, um... Geez, you know who I think has been standout for me, Kean Healy. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Um, yeah, I just, I just admire his temperament. I admire his drive. I think uh, he's a seriously impressive player. Really good guy. And, um, yeah, I think for me, I think he's... He is. Um, we're talking in a, in, a, in a national context, is it? Well, actually, I'd meant worldwide, but maybe giving your national okay. one first. But that, that, that's yeah, your Irish one, one. yeah. Key yeah. Healy. Yeah. Maybe we underrate uh, him a little bit, do we? I don't think he's ever underrated. No, I think. Geez, he consistently does a great shift for Ireland every time I see him play. Yeah. I think. Uh, what I like about him is his his capacity to stay at the top for so long. Mm. And he almost didn't you know. with the injury. I mean, he was really in the Well, back exactly. Back, yeah. But he, then he came back a better player, and then he came back a better player again. Mm. But he's been going a long time. That's true. So uh, I think um, a front uh, row, you know, it's a dog of a position. So yeah. Play to him. Yeah, no, that's, that's true. It's a good answer. What about internationally? Um... Internationally, um, in the same vein, I think Alwyn Jones. Right. Just you know, I suppose I'm looking for someone who has done uh, ten years and consistently performing. He's someone that springs to mind. Mm. And and I suppose over that period of time too, you know, someone like Borden Barrett, I think, has been extremely consistent as well and has been world class and is a joy to watch. Yeah, Alwyn Jones. Wow. Keen Healy. Keen Healy did that not was, That was that. left field. Because if you're looking for somebody who has had the entire decade to prove themselves and uh, been consistently extremely good, there's one out half there that would certainly come to mind and it's a, it's a very easy option in, in Johnny Sexton. I'm very, very surprised you didn't say Sexton. Astonished, actually. Like, the first man since Keith Wood to win World Player of the Year. And then outside of that one year, he also had a brilliant decade as well. I just, for me it's Sexton, and then you can have an argument about who's second, but very, very surprised that Sexton was overlooked. Didn't even get a mention. <laughs> it wasn't even in consideration, it looked like. Um, so it was Healy, well, I'm just trying to look up when Healy made his debut, uh, but he certainly obviously played the whole decade. Um, Alan Wynne Jones made his debut all the way back in 2006 for Wales. 13 year test career. That's and he's only 34. Like, he's not 37. Yeah. You know? He's been uh, apparently talking about the World Cup, next World Cup, saying, yeah, I think I could make that. I mean, maybe he could. Well, like, why, why not? Why not? He hasn't uh, exactly shown signs of slowing down. It's just that he started so early. He's well. only 32 as well. Now, 93 caps. Jesus, that's uh, pretty impressive. And um, like you've got to give Keane Healy. He started in 2009 as well. Huge credit for the way he's managed to reinvent himself in the second part of the decade. Like he was going up against a Lions loose head and managed to wrestle the position away from him and take it back. Now I know that it sounds to Jack McGrath's form perhaps not being what it was in 2017. I think Jack McGrath had like a long term injury that we're going to find out about in years Possibly. to come. Because like, he was an astonishingly good player. Mm. Absolutely brilliant. And I don't think there's any lack of effort or anything going on with him. I just think he's injured. And um, 
Um, that's my that's my theory on that. I, I still think Healy probably deserves a bit of credit for how he managed to get back the number one jersey for Leinster yeah. and for Ireland, and then consistently deliver. I think if you're making an argument about Ireland's best player in 2019, Keane Healy is one of the nominees. With the injury, pre-World Cup really screwed him over as well. Uh, yeah, I think he so. He never came back to the level that we knew he could be at. And we, we actually, like, if, if Ireland are going to make inroads, you need Keane Healy to be smashing whoever the equivalent is of mm. Richie McCaw to have that moment where it's like, oh, hang on a second. But he just, I don't think he was ex as explosive in the World Cup as he would have been because of the injury that he suffered. Yeah, I think so. I think, I think prior to that, you would have given him probably player of the year, even though it wasn't exactly uh, a huge contest for, for 2019. But uh, in the midst of a bit of chaos this year, I, th I think he's been consistently good. And it's not like Joe's shock in that clip is because it's Keane Healy. Oh my God, Keane Healy's had a bad decade. Not at all. He's had an outstanding decade. Look at all the things he's won and look at the teams he's been involved with. And as I've already said, the longevity he's shown. But it's just there is such an obvious candidate for this specific thing. He has literally been the best player in the world at one point during this decade. The most of the most part of this decade he has played for and been Ireland starting ten. So uh, it's it's a left field suggestion, but it's not a ridiculous one. Um, yeah, we'll see who Brian Driscoll picks. Uh, Bowden Barrett was the other player mentioned there. He made his debut. When do you think he made his debut? How many caps do you think Bowden Barrett has? Do you know this? 2015? 16? How many caps do you think he has? Uh, 45. 83 caps and was he it? made his debut in 2012. Really? Yeah, according to Wikipedia. Oh, God, I clearly didn't watch enough of the Tri Nations until Argentina got involved. But, um,. Again, like he's 28. You kind of feel like he's a, he's a youngster because for the whole time he was always like an understudy mm. and uh, an understudy to the best head half in the world. But actually, he's been around a long time. I suppose he got a lot of... He'll be 32 at the time of the next World Cup, which for an out half. Yeah, for same for Halloween Jones, like, well, he's young for second row. For Bowden Barrett. He's got two more World Cups. Probably will have two more World Cups. Barrett? Yeah. I don't think so. He gets 36? Well, he is an out half. I'm not sure. You were saying that as an as an you were saying obviously as a, you, as a second row you can go a bit longer. Yeah, much longer. Um, yeah, potentially. Like, is the sense that he, as an understudy in the All Blacks jersey for quite some time, it might give him a kick for another couple of years? Like, the thing is also where judging he he is a fullback. Like, he's he's not an out half, and you would say that the fullbacks shelf life is even shorter again. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Well, I, I don't you, know. Need, you need your gas.